on tonight's exciting episode of Talking Beards, what did we talk about tonight, Aaron? Tonight we talked about the best Christmas gifts to buy your bearded person in 2019. Yeah, we had a ton of stuff that we wanted to share with everyone that has a bearded friend or like even uh, if you're married to a bearded guy and you're like, what can I get him for Christmas this year? This is the episode you want to listen to. We talk about so many different great products that we've tried that have helped us get our A game. So make sure you listen to this episode. And we also do some really awesome Star Wars trivia and celebration for the new movie coming out. And that's pretty much all we did tonight. That's pretty much it, you know. Um, actually, you know, this will come out after the episode, the Star Wars comes out. So I'll try to get it up before, so people know, so they can listen. You're, you're going to get it out before? I bet you won't. I bet you I won't. Okay, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> Scott, stupid. Everybody, listen to the podcast. Okay, oh, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> My name is Scott Sakura, and I am the Beardcaster. You are listening to Talking Beards. You can find out more information by going to TalkingBeards.com or TheBeardcaster.com. Make sure you go subscribe to the podcast wherever you subscribe to podcasts at. Also, make sure you go to Facebook and find us there and watch us live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST, which stands for Eat Salty Toads. You also can watch us live at TalkingBeards.com. Don't forget to interact with us live in our chat room each week as we do our show live. We answer questions, we talk to people, and we have a great time. Yeah, we do. So let's dive right into this week's episode and go. It was way too hot, Aaron. Oh, hey, that's what she said. It is. Guess what time it is. Um, 755. I know. We're almost there. We're almost there. We almost Scott. have did it. We're, we're getting close to doing it. Are you excited about tonight's show? I'm super excited about tonight's show. How's Are it, you excited about tonight's show? I am because I really want to share with everyone all the great products that we use. Because if you have someone in your life that is growing a beard and you want them to go up to the next level... These are the these are the things that we use and we would like to share with everyone. Yeah. How's your TikTok share. doing today? Let's see. How is my TikTok doing today? I posted a video about 55 minutes ago and it is currently at 400,000. No, not even close. The oh. the the uh, I may be a one-hit wonder. So, um this video is at 1588. But that's in an hour, so that's still good. It's not super sucky or anything, but it's not 626,100. But hey, you know what? I'm at 22,200 followers Breaking now, so. news. Breaking news. If shit talking means telling the truth, then guess I'm a shit talker. Posted by someone on the Facebook. <laughs> no name. I'm not even saying names. Well, shit talker. Um, breaking news. Okay, go ahead. Mandalorian episode seven will <clears> air <throat> early this week. Oh, that is good news. Which is tomorrow, but we'll talk about that on the show. Yeah. So by the time anyone hears this, it'll be like a week ago. Thank you. No. Right? Yeah. I have two podcasts done. They just have to get uploaded. You should upload it. I do. I have to add all the information in too. That's writing and. Oh, I'm not good at writing. Neither am I. So, you know what sucks is our video still didn't magically appear on yeah. Facebook. I'm extremely bummed out about this. Maybe we should email Facebook and go, "Hey, Facebook. Oh, I love that." So I've emailed them three times. So maybe you can do it. All right. Maybe we can call him. Call him live have, on the show. Yeah. Do you have Mark's number? Excuse me, Mark. Mark, where is our freaking video? Yeah. It, oh, is this Aaron with Talking Beards? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, well, I've been meaning to call you. He's like, my, my secretary gave yeah, me Mark your. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. yeah. 
What other marks do you know? Yeah. Mark E. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and the funk E bunch. That's why they did it that way. <clears throat> yeah, our video still not up. <clears throat> Gosh darn it, Aaron. What? I was clearing my throat. My uh, 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 ears. Uh, uh, uh. uh, uh. uh, uh. So in one minute, we're going to do this. I'll, I'll oh. remember the I'll, I'll remember to do this this week. I'm going to read Talking Beards, episode 50. Damn, I should have made another cup of coffee before now. Well, I failed. Too late now. You suck. Yeah, well, I forgot. I forgot. Uh-oh, we're almost there. We're almost I'm, there. I'm, I'm watching the clock. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. It's not there yet. It is almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Air. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Air. Oh, I clicked it. Are we live? Um, you are. Li- Sorry, I was really too loud when I said well, that. Don't you know we whisper right now? Stupid. Look at us. Oh, yeah. talking beards is live. We were having so much fun right there. You never put the episode number anymore. I don't like this. I don't wait. What are you talking about? Episode where? It says Talk Appearance is now live. Do you have a bearded fella to buy this holiday season? Yeah, that's the description, you idiot. That's not the yeah, title. But still, it, I, it should still say episode 50 right there. I like this better. My way is right, and your way's wrong. You don't know <laughs> anything about me. I don't. I don't know anything about you at all. Who are you? Apparently we're going live, but I have yet to get any notification on any of my things that we are going live. Well, I got a notification. I got one that says Ben Samuel says I'm stupid. Well, he's not wrong. Let's... <laughs> You're wrong. You're all wrong. Hey, guess what? We did it. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Ruin it. Let's. I'm, I ruined it for you. I, I hate you. Yeah, I we do. did it. You're so Woo! dumb. Episode fifty. Woo! We did it. Oh hey. Like that. So I, whatever. Whatever. You freaking ruined it. I'm mad. <laughs> I know I did. You dumbed this down to a level that I didn't think we could ever get to. I dumbed it down. Yeah, because you said, we did it. I it's know. not, we did it. You sound so sad about it. It's it's an exciting achievement in <laughs> all of mankind. It's like, we landed on the moon, talking beards 50. We <laughs> did it. <laughs> I like that. Landed on the moon, talking beards 50. No, talking beards 50. It's just like, one oh, see now down. you, you just, went at least like six you steps dumbed down. it down you just the way you just said it right there was like oh uh, uh, well you know uh, what i'm air d johnston it's pronounced and this is episode number 50 as i said as scott sakura doesn't care but 50 is you know that's a monumental occasion and we did it and it's, this is going to be episode all about uh what'd you name it the gift giving guide of 2019. Yes, that's what it is. Go ahead. Gift. Go ahead. Well, I'm trying to get this Hurry. as we do it every time. I'm trying to embed this thing on talkingbeards.com, but of course. Oh, so you're still doing stuff. So that's fine. I'm, so Scott Sakura is getting in bed right now. I'm trying to do I'm tr- it's, it's okay. It's a, we got this, you know. We you just sit there and look at your computer that's probably going super super slow as per usual. And you know, I'll embed I'll, it later. Uh, embed it later, Scott. You don't need to get in bed right now. It's you know eight o'clock. I know you're old, but I mean you're not get in bed at eight o'clock old. Uh, I could be right now. I, you know what? I've been feeling like I should go to bed early. Lately, you should. You stay up way too late. I do. That's what you said. I have to do all the cocaines to stay up for uh, New Year's Eve. Well, duh. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Anyway. So Okay, I can tell you who I am. <laughs> Go ahead. 
All right. My name is Scott Sakura. I am from Talking Beards, the podcast. <laughs> All right, you can uh, find out more information by going to Talking Beards on Facebook or you can go to TalkingBeards.com. Make sure you check back on uh, checking it out unless I can somehow get this up and working uh, soon You'll be able here. To get it. I'll be You'll able be. to. I'll tell you what, by the beginning of the year, uh, I will have this all worked out and the show will go running smoothly. <sighs> smoothly. But uh, yeah, you can go to... TalkingBeards.com or TheBeardCaster.com. There you can go subscribe to the show in any different way. Oh, my God. I come in to no sleep and the cocaines. Becca so, McConnell. I guess, <laughs> Rebecca tuned in right at the right time. She did. Apparently, I have to go find uh, a comment. Look at all these people that are in here already tonight. We got Dan Davis is here, bearded. Dan, do you have a beard yet? You've, I've never known you to ever have a beard. He's a dead stormtrooper. Look. Oh, rest in peace, stormtrooper. Episode, oh, oh, episode oh. 50. 50 shades of beard. There are 50. This Can is a two time freestyle champion. Doer. doer. Yeah, he just did it two times. Oh, but we've done it how many times? 50 times. 50 times. We did it 50 times, Scott. This is amazing. This is a. I don't know. I'm super excited about it. Yeah. So uh, just everyone heads up because next week is Christmas Eve on Tuesday night. And the following <laughs> week is New Year's Eve, Christmas night. Uh, we have some family things going on. So we are going, this will be our last episode for the year. So we wanted to give you. A, of the decade. Of the decade. So the next episode will be in 2020 when everyone's vision will be perfect. And. Did you like what I did that? That was so good. <laughs> Everybody will be able to see really good I all know. next year. All next year, they're going to be able to see stuff really good. So uh, we wanted to take this episode to give everyone a, a gift guying buy. Gift guying buy. <laughs> gift <laughs> buying guide. So if you anyone. Did I did it. <laughs> um, so if you have anyone in your that you're buying gifts for and they happen to have a beard, we have some of the best stuff that you guys can purchase for that person uh we will post links later um so all you got to do is go to the talking beards facebook page and i'll put a whole list of everything that we talk about in here tonight and links to all the different things so you can purchase those things for your loved ones for the holidays but before we get to that and before we get to the bs button beard bullets and forward what do we have to do tonight aaron everybody as per usual and we're not going to break tradition that we've we've had going for about three weeks now. So everybody, do what Baby Yoda says. You should share this. Don't do what Baby Yoda says, or don't do what Baby Yoda does. Do what Baby Yoda says. Look at them tiefers. Look at them. Look at them. Look at that. that you woman. should share this. Share it. I'm, okay, I'm going to do it right now. Yeah, share it, Scott. I, I just did. Because it's already on my page. Posted. Look at that. I'm going to share it again. Well, I'm going to share it to a page. Who should I share it to? All the pages. All. A, let's share it to a group. Let's share it to. Share it to all the groups, all the pages, and just see what happens. I'm going like, to share it to people don't even care about. <laughs> like, you know, I'm going to share it to the bearded infidel cartel. They love this sort of thing. Yes. There. Well, there we go. You I you go to uh, I Beard Club and share it over there. Share it to the I Beard Club. Let's see. Yeah. Share it to a group. They're good eggs over there. They are good eggs. I'm going to share it to there. I'm going to share it there. We'll um, be uh, beards least, and dames yeah. rise of the beard. I'm sharing it there. At least me and Natalie for sure will be over. I mean in, beard. I'm going to share it there at the I Beard Club competition slash British Nationals in August 2020. Yes. Right? Share your beard there. I'm sharing it everywhere. Do it. I'm sharing it to the bearded men page. I'm gonna i I'm gonna share it to the Holy City Whiskerinas. Yeah. Oh, so I should you're gonna delete it? I should share it to the beard team USA. Send it to Ben. This so, is what you need to do, people. You need to be sharing it to uh my beard club. Let's share it there. Oh, the BS button. Should I share it to the BS button page? Sure, yeah. Rebecca says, but baby Yoda doesn't have a beard. LOL. 
I'm going to share it to the Bearded Monkey Social Club. You do it. Are you just going to tell us all the pages you're going to share it to? Yeah, I'm going to share it to Men with Beards page as well. Good thinking. Michelle Emerson says, Let's, I share it everywhere. I'm going to share it to, who else should I share I it to? I am Andrew Kloss. Look at this. It's coming in. This side, not as well. But that's why I shave my sides off, because they don't grow in very good. But um, right, I, shaved, I shaved like two years ago. And I'm just kind of curious what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to let it grow for a couple months and just see what happens. But I'm not, not full time going back full beard. I will, I'm kind of just letting it grow in so my sides can fill in and so I can sharpen my line back up because months of shaving it down just kind of my line kept getting, you know, down, down, down. So I'm just going to try to fill it in and see if I can just get a little bit more length back. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going back full time full beard but you know maybe a two months and then i'll be back to the most most goodest bestest facial, most bestest facial hairstyle and that is the most superior of all the facial hairstyles the goatee Thank all you. right so as we ask you every week if you <laughs> by some chance have something that you want to share with the beard community and the talking beards community what am, the whole, this is the whole episode scott announcing who he is sharing it to no, I'm done. That's pretty much it. That I'm, was like the last 14 minutes of the show. Do you, do you want to see me share something? I'll share, share something. Share Nico. Nico, come here. Speaking of, this I can blame Andrew on because this is what he taught my dog how to do. Why he was Nico loves Andrew. So we we went to Scott Sakura's house and and had a sleepover all weekend. And I thought Nico was gonna you know bite Andrew in the face like so many times. I was like, trying to get him to bite him in his penis. Yeah, that's that's what he kept yelling at him, and that's look at all not the what he was going to do. I guess he was confusing penis and face. All right. So, anyways, let's get back to the t- task at hand here, so we can get the show on the road. Um, okay. So, like we say every week, if you have something you want to share with the beard community or the talking beards community, we ask you to go over to the talking beards Facebook page. You'll scroll down just a little bit. It'll say visit group. If you click that, it'll take you to the BS button beard bulletin board, which is this page right here. Oh, the BS button beard bulletin board. You can also search for it by going to the BS buttons beard bulletin board. Here is where you post anything you would like to share with the beard community. If you're having like some sort of fundraiser, uh, some competition, if you have some news, if you want to cover something that happened at a competition, uh, if you're celebrating some sort of milestone, like your beard geared, um, or 50th episode of Talking Beards. 50th episode of Talking Yes, yeah. so this is the place to go to post it. So, And if you do it, we will uh, talk about it on this week's show or the next week's show or whenever you post it, we will get to it. So that's what we do at the beginning of our show. And then after that, we usually have a guest. But like I said, this, this week we're talking about our picks for the best holiday gifts for you to get for your bearded people, right? Person. Person. So I have a breaking news. Breaking news. This should have been on the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board, but it's not. Breaking news. Oh, Omaha Facial Hair Society calendar is still for sale. Thank you. That is something that you can get for. That is also something you get for one of your bearded, bearded friends people or fan of bearded people. So hit up Mark Benita, even though he has literally the worst facial hairstyle of any person <laughs> ever in the world. Chops with no mustache. That is like Chops and a whaler had a baby and they had Mark Benita. Thank you. All right. So our first item on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board is from Michelle Emerson, who is with Josh Breens Thompson, who was in the chat room I saw earlier, and Patrick Medlock. Uh, she competed at December in Fort Worth this past weekend. They represented the Queen City Beard and Mustache Federation. And she did a tribute to Josh. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It looks good. Look at that. Look at all the way down. Keep working. I like, keep that, face, I like the chest hair. Look at that. Looks she good. even stuffed her shorts. Did she? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know what's in there. We don't know. Uh, also, Crystal Davis. Crystal Davis, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Chops are the best. 
chops are the best. That's what he says. All right, next item. So we we caught wind of a new podcast out there. Even though there are 10 episodes in already, it's Carl. It, Carl. 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 Hot Carl. Hot Carl. It's called Beard Laws. And the host, his name is Matt McClear. And uh, if you just search, if you if you listen to podcasts, um, just all you have to do is type in Beard Laws and check it out. It's really cool if you guys, I mean, it's very similar to like what I was doing with the Beardcaster podcast. Um, who was the guest he just had on? He had Greg Anderson on this last week. Yeah. And uh, Greg was the official photographer along with Jeffrey Mustache at the Nationals. Uh, Greg Anderson does a lot of really good pictures. And if you've seen a lot of the pictures go viral uh, in the last, you know, month or so a lot of those are uh greg anderson's pictures that are floating around all over the interweb so yeah it was a really good uh episode with greg anderson and this is one of the dudes that i've met via my uh my my tiktok reign over there for the last eight days and this was one of the first dudes i kind of talked to and seems seems like a really nice guy he's got a good little following over there he's got this podcast going um yeah, so he uh, he'll probably be on the show next next year. Yeah, well, we've already kind of talked about it, and I think I'm going to go over do an episode yeah. of his podcast, and then he's going to come over and do an episode of Talking Beards. So. Yeah, and we are definitely going to do a collaboration. Him and I were emailing each other today, so good this is good stuff. Cool. All right, next item on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Here's some pictures of our. We wanted to so real quick. Um, if for you, I'm sure everyone in here who's been uh, paying attention to the show, but we did our a 2019 Toys for Tots toy drive presented by Honest Amish this past weekend. And uh, if you go over here, you can see we collected a lot of toys. We didn't collect all of these toys, but these were a lot of them were the ones that we collected. And then the rest of them were from uh, the Steel City Beard and Mustache Club, Beards of the Old Northwest and Beards of the Old Northwest Rock Creek chapter. So uh, we all got together. Um, you can see a picture of us here up at Element 41. Um, we set a table up. So anyone that brought in a toy got a complimentary bottle or a tin of beard oil or beard balm from uh, Honest Amish and uh, free drinks. So a lot of people took advantage of that. So And what? pizza roll tacos. That's right. Pizza roll tacos. Everyone was raving about that. And the next morning we went for breakfast and I got a pizza roll omelet. <laughs> he did that was true <laughs> yep 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 and then we got a message later in the day from paul the chef that he came up with the pizza roll uh burrito <laughs> and it looked good yeah so i'll let everyone know about that one i'm gonna go in and get that one to eat sometime in the near future i mean their pizza roll tacos might have been a little bit better than the ones i make i'm just saying yeah your dollar tree pizza roll tacos <laughs> no they were ghetto or whatever someone said anyway um his were definitely top-notch pizza roll tacos he's a fancy chef that's why um all right so joshua gregor posts a perfect solution to a bad problem this is the uh it's moving day homeless veterans arrive at their village of tiny homes um yes you know i didn't really have time to click and look at this but i'm pretty sure that Somewhere in the United States, uh, someone built all these like little houses for homeless veterans, and now they're living in tiny homes. That's freaking awesome. Yes. Uh, let's see. So if you want to know more about it, you can go to the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board page and look. Look at this. Why don't you tell us about this one, Aaron? Can you do that? I, I also have break, more breaking news. Uh-oh, breaking news before we do this. Minnesota Beard and Mustache Coalition calendars are also for sale. Goatees are better than chops. Here it is. Look at that. You can get one of these by going over to their Facebook page. Go to the Minnesota Beard and Mustache Coalition page, and they're over there. Just send them a message. This is another great gift you can get your bearded friends, and it's go is, it goes towards a good cause. Absolutely. So the next uh, item up for bid on the BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board is Charlie Star. Joe Hansen, if anyone in the Farmington, Missouri area stopped by, Santa will be there. This is for our first annual coat drive, 573 Beardos. If you'd like to donate a coat, 
we're going to stockpile for the next year. So this is December 22nd in Farmington, Missouri. So, um, yeah, hit them up, send them a coat. Or if you're in the area, go take them a coat. Riley Griffin's giving us angry face. Why are we getting angry faces? What happened? What did we do? 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 Here's some pictures from Chuck. <laughs> Charlie Star Johansson. It's Chuck Star Johansson. Oh, uh oh. Goatees we suck. Got, we got some trash going on now. Uh oh. Goatees S- suck. Chop squad for the win. <laughs> nah. Doubt that. Fake, fake Sparks news. is here. Oh, speaking of. Jonathan Leach, the son of that Leach guy, he's here. <laughs> Hey, ladies. Want and, to be a millionaire. No, wait. Yes. That Lifestyles is. of the rich and the famous. Or, right? or the singer from uh, Kill Switch Engage. Or leeches. Yes. He, Just, their family invented the leech. Wow, that's pretty good. I know. Crystal Davis says Riley is awesome. <sighs> Tisha Chicken Bread is with Angela DeRocco. Yeah, so this is a this is a, a big deal here. So the I think they're they're uh, I don't know how connected with the Austin Facial Hair Club they are, but this is um, they're this both is in gonna, it. Yeah, they're both in it. So I'm pretty sure this is like a offshoot of the uh, Austin Facial Hair Club. But yeah, they they started the Texas Craft Whisker Club, and so this is going to be for the whiskerinas or the craft whisker maker people of the United States. So we can build a, you know, a beard team for the women to go to worlds in 2021. So, yeah, we got a couple of years to kind of get this going. And Mrs. Chicken Bread is taking the reins and running with it. So she says it's it serrate. No, well, she says serrate. So that means it's like as fast as you can put the meat on the grill to sear it. Like that's like it could be anywhere from like five to ten seconds, depending on how hot. It is. Well, it's not an offshoot, so I was wrong. Sorry, Mrs. Chicken Bread. I just assumed. Sirs, look at that. Jeez. Both of y'all were in the club, but my bad. But you, I wonder it has how- nothing to do with Austin Facial Hair Club at all. Other than they it- actually hate the Austin Facial Hair Club. Breaking they news. The worst club ever. There, is that better? Breaking there, news. I separated y'all. Even though they are from <laughs> Teja as well. Yeah, now yeah, how much more they're, separate they're can we be? not even in Texas. Like, they has nothing to do with Texas in the least bit. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and here we go. This is a great one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, who who's that? Who's that dork knob? It's wow, he looks good. He looks good without a beard and with hair. Way better if he had facial hair. Yeah, so... This is uh, Aaron thought it would be funny to take this old homecoming picture from 1990 and post it on here. No one liked it. Everyone laughed at it, as they can see right there. Even though Fawn Hall said stud, because she could put a nail in me. (laughs) What? Yeah, that's what you do with a stud, right? That is true. You put a nail in it. And then we're going to end it with this horrific thing that Ben Samuels sent me. It's a like banana, banana, I don't even know, some sort of gross taco thing. It looks good. No, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know. Kind of does. And then George McProut, he says, let's do this. Look at him. He's all festive. He's he's festive AF, the kids would say. Festive AF. What does that mean? All farty? Uh, all farty. Scroll one more. Show these nerds. Oh, yes, Who that's right. Freaking nerds. Circle Beard and North Dakota Watts. North Dakota Watts and his wife brought us these really cool little uh, comb and scissor gifts for Christmas, and we want to thank you guys very much for those. But, uh, yeah, so that was really cool. Yeah, these are some of the guys that showed up uh, – and the other thing that sucked though is we we ended up shooting like a forty minute live show. It went up. We all watched it that night, and then the next day we get up, and now all of a sudden it's thirty eight seconds long. I've emailed Facebook multiple times, and we texted I Mark. 
yeah, Mark, Mark hadn't got back with me yet, but we're trying. It, it, I'm very disappointed that it has disappeared. So we'll, we'll keep working on it and hopefully we can get it up, but it's not looking good. Yeah. But yeah. Freaking sucks. We did a whole 40 minute episode and it's gone. So that's, that's the magic of Facebook. I guess they can delegate what goes up and what comes down. Yeah. It's just really dumb. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. So now what, now what are we going to do? Are we going to do the gift giving guide of 2019? I think we should. We so, should do it. We should. We did it. Well, actually, we haven't yet. We're working on doing it. So what what we're going to do is we're going to share with you uh, some of the things that we personally use, that we love, that we like, and that have helped us get our beards to where they have gone. I mean, obviously, world champion status, national champion status, tons of first, second, and third place statuses all around the country. So obviously these products are doing something good, something right for us. So they're doing something. They're doing something. They're they're helping us win. What's who are you talking to, Aaron? Mittens is here. Who? Mittens. Who's the heck is Mittens? Did you guys get a new cat? No, she's our oldest cat. She doesn't hang around very much. Does she wear mittens? She does. <laughs> we haven't heard. <sighs> hey. See, look, look at her mittens. See how her, hey. I don't, I don't think I'm, 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 my traveling is going to be very limited for, uh, the beginning of the year. So unfortunately I will not be able to make it. He will not. I will not. I will not. So, so go ahead. Go, go. Let's get into this. So the first thing, of course, why would it not be this honest Amish? So. Everyone knows that we are humongous Amish Amish ah, ah. Honest Amish fans. Yes, thank you. That's exactly what I meant to say. Honest Amish fans. Well, of course, Aaron, because everything Aaron does, he puts Honest Amish on his cereal, his everything. Mm, everything. Um, I mean, I drink it for breakfast and it's in my coffee. Everything. So yeah, it's it's absolutely the best beard products. And I'm I'm not at all just saying that. It I'm just I'm just fortunate to be aligned with them, but they are absolutely the best beard products in the world. I think now you can go to honestamish.com. This is the website here. As you can see, they have balms, waxes, oil, soap, salves, apparel, lip balm. They don't have hooded sweatshirts. So no, but maybe, maybe in the near future, they'll have hooded sweatshirts. Yeah. So here's some different things they have for sale. Um, but the one thing that uh, they have a couple things that are on, they're not listed right here, but things specifically like the specific uh, products that they have that I love is the, I don't know if you can see this. This is the Honest Amish Beard Balm Bayou Blend. Now, I didn't even know about this thing until like a few months ago. I guess I just didn't research the site enough and never really got to try it. So uh, they sent me some of this to try out and this by far is the best balm that they have in my opinion uh i just it's a very subtle smell because most of the honest amish uh balms or oils don't like have any scent to them whatsoever they're pretty yeah, it's all natural no no chemicals added or alcohols or perfumes or any of that stuff so whatever the uh natural oil smells like that's that's just what it smells like. Yeah, see Matson says the Bayou yeah, the Bayou blend yeah. by far is the best. I mean, other than when it. you get into the soaps, like as you can see on the screen here, the lavender and clove soaps, which their soaps are extremely fragrant and uh, all the different soaps that they have. In fact, Aaron left one in my shower. I did? Yeah. That was nice of me. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to use it cuz who knows where you stuck that bar of soap. Oh. Psh. Mm, you can't like tell that? You. I don't know. I definitely did. didn't just rub it on a rag. That's definitely not what I did. Yeah. So let's see what other other things they have here. So they have, uh, um, yeah, of course, all the different soaps. Uh, the slick blend and body soap by Anasami. That's what Ben Samuels was saying right there in the chat room. Ben loves the soap. He's a yeah. huge fan. I think he eats it. The lip balm by far is some of the best lip balm. And, and I'll tell you what, another great thing about this specific lip balm, which I don't I don't specifically use lip balm because usually a guy with a mustache like ours, if we're putting beard oil and stuff into our mustaches and beard or waxes, 
it's already coating our lips, so we really don't need to use um, the lip balm, but I do use it on my fingers when I get cracks on my fingers in the wintertime. Huh. It works That's... super awesome for that. <clears throat> yep. So, but um, let's see. You can search the website. There's there's yeah. lots of good stuff on there. But the one thing that we wanted to talk about the most on this page is. Boom. The Honest Amish gift box. Yeah, so this is a special edition thing that they've released for uh, 2019 Christmas season. It's $30. It's got a, what, a, a oil, wax, balm, and a comb in it. And it comes in this nice little box. So, yeah, 30 it, bucks. Can't really beat that. Yeah, that's a really good price. Now, what is the beard wax? So the difference between the balm and the wax. So most beard oil companies do have... Uh, a, a bomb, but it's it's a, a harder uh, con- consistency. So you kind of have to scrape it out with your thumb. That's more of the wax. So the wax, I think it works really well if you have like a short beard. So all it is is a really, really uh, kind of a heavy bomb. So Honest Amish bomb is more like a buttery kind of soft consistency. And so it's it's the other extreme of that. So it's just got, it's a basically a leave in balm with a lot of uh, beeswax type consistency to it. So it's got a lot of hold. <clears throat> yeah. And of course the combs, the hand cut combs and everything, they're very nice, really, really high quality, durable combs. So, yeah. So make sure you go over to honest Amish to check that out. All right. So the next thing on the list here is brutal beard. Now, <laughs> if well, if a lot of you haven't uh, been familiar with me over the years, um, I hooked up with uh, Brutal Beard, uh, which is out of Cleveland, Ohio, a few years ago. Uh, Anna Lee, who started the company, um, and sold it. Uh, but now I've gotten in touch with the new people, and so and this is a uh, I got this, Jason. Jason is the new owner, but uh, anyways, uh. The, I, this by far is like my my number two to Honest Amish. Now, the reason why th- I really like this company is Jason is like a chemist, and he is like, uh, like he is down to the scientific level of like mixing beard oil and knowing like all the different uh properties and all the different things it does to your hair, that it does to your skin and everything. So. He's mixing some like super ridiculous like things together to get like a really good quality oil. And unlike what we're talking with uh, Honest Amish, uh, he has some really terrific scents. Uh, My favorite, of course, is the uh, tobacco stash, which is, uh, as you can see right there, um, it is it has a nice tobacco fragrance, but my other favorite one is the Cedar Canyon. And it's, of course, it just tastes or tastes. It smells like the most. <laughs> no, I am not drunk, Ben. I just can't talk tonight. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, it has such a, a warm, nice, like rich scent. Um, now he is offering for the ladies, uh, he has this really great body butter. That is like super awesome. Uh, it's it's got very fragrant, um, but yeah, it's really good quality stuff. Like I said, he really puts his time and effort into concocting some of the best blended, healthiest, natural products you can possibly get out there. Um, so if you're looking to try out something brand new and you've never tried any of their products before, I mean they have bunches of different types of. Uh, of course, everyone's running their holiday gift specials right now, um, but uh, they have bath and body stuff, um, straight wavy beard. I mean, he has different types of oils, strengths for different types of beards, which I thought was really cool. Um, beard washes, body soaps, and all types of grooming supplies and stuff like that. So BrutalBeardBrand.com. And with if, lasers. With lasers. <clears throat> um, let's see. What is the next one? You talk about this one, Aaron. Yeah, so I have personally not used the uh, Meme Whip, but I have a lot of buddies that are over there with the the Meme guys, Meme Beard guys, and they all speak very highly of this Meme Whip, and I do have some. 
I, uh, I've been meaning to give it a shot, but you know, <clears throat> the whole honest Amish thing. And I, I just don't like putting anything, but honest Amish in my beard. So meme whip, um, I've got, like I said, got buddies that's used it. Everybody has speaking very highly of it. I have used that, that mean beard comb and I did have it at one point in time, but I, I have no idea what I freaking Someone did. Someone stole it from you. <clears throat> I don't know. It was awesome. It folded up. It, it didn't snag. It was a really nice, high quality comb. But like I said, somewhere along the way, I freaking lost it. So their comb's really good. I can speak that. Um, but I know the, the meme whip has a, has a really good, uh, smell to it. I can say that. And it has a hold consistency to it. Kind of like a wax, um, leave-in conditioner, high quality stuff. You know, they, I know meme beard makes really, really good products and they're all fantastic, nice dudes over there. So check it out. If, uh, you want to give meme beard a shot, I, I highly recommend them and, they're good people. They want you to tame the unruly. <clears throat> yeah, they do. It's it's consistent consisting of the best nutrient rich butters and oils. It is perfectly whipped into a soft light texture, prov- providing you with a fuller, softer, healthier beard, and it smells magnificent. We like that. Yes. Okay. Next item. Now this one's a really good one. Now I got a I got a bottle of this one from uh, Aaron. Uh, Patrick gave us a bottle of the uh, Live Right CBD beard oil. The it's the Patrick Dawson signature beard oil. Now I tried this stuff out, and it, as you can see, it's a little pricey, but uh, it is it is well worth uh, trying at least once because it it is very different than a lot of beard oils that I've tried, and I'm not like a big fan of trying new beard oils, but because Patrick has his name on this and I know Patrick, I like Patrick and he is a, he, well, what, what would you call him? He's a reigning second place world champion. Yeah. Something like that. He's a (laughs) three time second place world champion. But he, he definitely has a, a lineage behind him with his beard and he's a, he will definitely go down as a, a bearding legend when it's all said and done. But uh, yeah, so this uh, his beard oil contains CBD, which is which is the hemp r- extract of the hemp oil, um, and it's it's if we scroll down here, we can see a little bit about um, what it is. Um, the the Live Right CBD beard oil helps to hydrate and maintain your beard while delivering the potential benefits of CBD to your hair and skin. CBD oil contains natural anti-inflammatory properties, which help eliminate redness, itching, and promote beard growth. So when I tried this out, um, like I had told him, I said that the, it was a very citrusy smell when you first put it in, but I said it was, it was almost a little too strong, but then like within like a matter of like five minutes, it like, it like lightened out real nice. And as the day went on, it, it kept that subtle like citrusy smell to it so it wasn't like overly aggressive and it wasn't uh wasn't very um offensive i guess because like as i was saying like that first initial like put in it was like uh, it was like real like strong at first but then like like i said it just it it killed itself out real quick and uh yeah so if you want to try a completely different beard oil i definitely recommend this one um like i said it's a little pricey but it's definitely something completely different than anything that is out there. And if Patrick Dawson's name behind is behind it, then I'm behind it. And so we suggest it to you. Absolutely. Next item. This is the best beard soap by far I have ever tried. Freaking cube. This thing is amazing. Um, I have utilized this as well. And one thing I really like about the cube is um, it, it strips everything out of your beard. I don't know what exactly it does. It's the um, cider, the cider vinegar is what. Yeah, it was the it. vinegar that, that strips it out. So it, it cleans really well. It makes your beard feel really weird when you get out of the shower. Yeah. But it, it takes to oil and balm incredibly well after you wash it with this. Like it, it absolutely just soaks everything in beyond belief after you use this. Yes. Yeah, People are commenting about how good the cube is in the chat room right now. It is amazing. 
Yeah, so the cube is like basically with the the honey and cider vinegar, what it does is it strips all the oils out of your beard. So it it pretty much is like your hair is like straw. It's like it's like a sponge waiting to like as soon as you get out of that shower and you get that that oil in there, it just sucks it right up and, you know, I mean, and the thing is is like it's it's how big how big would you say it is? Like 2 by 2? Something like that, yeah. I mean, it's it's this big. Yeah. So it, it's not like very big, and it yeah, as Aaron shows, it's it's like a little square. But I mean, I've been using mine for almost a year, and I'm almost ready to buy a new one. So it just lasts and lasts and lasts. Yeah. So by far, if you're looking for a really good shampoo that cleans, I mean, literally like strips all the crap out of your beard. Or, I mean, you can use this in your hair, too. You know, because um, beards are full of feces. Yes. We want to get rid of all the feces. Okay. Now, here is here is the key to the... This is the best gift that everyone, 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 everyone... Number one gift right here. If you have a bearded someone in your life, this brush is the brush you need to buy them. Yes, absolutely. So, they've uh, they've come out with a new handle... So that's really nice. And I absolutely recommend the detangler brush. And it's, as you can see, everybody that has a brush or, you know, has a beard needs this brush. It, you know, I don't know what it is about it, but it's amazing. And I highly recommend it. Um, I, as we're looking at the different types of which, as you can see on the page here, if you go to wetbrush.com, pretty much they're all the same brush, just with different designs. But at the very end here, they have this one that's called the Flex Dry Brush. Now, this brush, it's very similar to if you guys look... Oh, sorry, wrong one. It was the same color. But this was the first wet brush I got. And this is a wet brush. Like, it helps dry your your hair out. So... I can actually, by using this brush, after I get out of the shower, it's not a moist brush, Dakota. Jesus, North Dakota, such an idiot. But it helps your hair dry way faster than just brushing it, which you're not really supposed to brush your hair when it's wet. But that's the cool thing about the wet brush is they're made to help brush your hair without causing any damage or pulling any hair or ripping any hair. Uh, just the way they're designed, but as you can see with the flex dry here, um, it has the, all, all the openings in the back to help dry, help your hair dry out faster as you're brushing it. And then in fact, when we went to nationals, uh, we had like a regular standing fan in the bedroom that was blowing back and forth. And I took my wet brush, that wet brush I just showed you, the dry brush, and I was stood in front of the fan, and probably within two minutes, it might beard was completely dry. Like, I mean, and that's, that's the way you want to dry your beard. You don't want to be using a hair dryer. You don't want to be using heat on your beard to dry your beard out because it just damages it. It dries it out and it is not good for it. So, and I, and I would like to thank, definitely, I would like to thank Aaron for turning me on to the wet brush, because if it wasn't for this, literally this brush changed everything for me. Um, until I, I mean, before this brush, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't know. Ben Samuels but, says, good job, fan. Good job, fan. Who was my so, biggest fan that day? You want, you want to do one more or you want to hop into trivia? Uh, okay. Several, we can keep going, but we also have an extended trivia tonight. Yeah, we so. have an, uh, let's do two more. Um, right. Okay, we'll do uh, this one because he is our friend and we love him. So, there you go. Jason Kiley. One-Eyed Cat Crafts. So if you go over to Etsy, uh, search for One-Eyed Cat Crafts, you can see they don't offer the Aaron and Larry cup for sale. But I'm sure you could if you email him. Yeah. So he has, all, in fact, he has the Baby Yoda designs and the Mandalorian design are up. I didn't see it on the site, but if you message him, he has the Mandalorian cups. But the one cool thing is he has the cups, as you can see, uh, Aaron has they they are called the mustache guards. So if you have a mustache, of course it helps keep out. They work so freaking good. If you drink coffee and you have a mustache, get one of these freaking cups. It is very much worth it. Yep. It is amazing. 
Yeah, and he has all these different designs. So, of course, uh, just all you, like I said, go to Etsy.com and uh, look for Jason Kiley. He's, as you can see right there, he is a world champion and a world champion cup maker. Um, okay, next. Next pot. Yep. So then this is the last one. Um, so teespring.com slash stores slash Cypress Lane Beard Company. Now, we don't really care about the Whaler Nation stuff. No yeah, one cares about a whaler. But if you scroll down this page, you're going to run into some really interesting things. Like, I don't know. Like, oh my gosh, what is that? The who's that mug? The who's that die cut sticker? We also have the Chris is the dang mug, the dang sticker, the oh hey mug, the oh hey sticker, and the I like this coffee cup and the I like this die cut sticker. So definitely that's what everybody should buy everybody for Christmas is all of the talking beard face paraphernalia from Cypress Lane. Yeah. So, and another thing about all these products here is they are priced to cost. So there's no profit made whatsoever. So what you pay is what it costs to make these things. So we don't make any money. Tyler doesn't make any money. It's just a kind of funny thing that we uh, teamed up with him to do. And uh, just keep your eyes peeled into next year when uh, Talking Beards will have their own Teespring store where you can buy all sorts of different cool things. We will have it up and ready at the beginning of the year. That is the plan. So, yeah, we'll have our own Talking Beards page so you can buy all the cool Talking Beards stuff. All the kids will be doing it. They'll be doing it. So, yeah, so tonight we're going to rush through this trivia. We have 15 questions tonight. So Andrew Matson was... Uh, Generous enough to write 10 questions, and Sarah Willis gave us five. So tonight we will be doing Star Wars trivia. So the new Star Wars movie comes out on Thursday, and the Mandalorian tomorrow. slash Baby Yoda show comes out tomorrow. So the winner of tonight's trivia will get... Oh, oh, the box. Look at this. We haven't given one of these away in a while. It's loaded with all kinds of goodies uh, from Honest Amish and Ruzel. Well, there's stickers and buttons in there as well. So it'll be a full kit, and it'll have everything in life you ever wanted. So if you win the box tonight, make sure you send me, Natalie, and or Scott your address so we can get this out to you so we do not hold on to it like we do most things. Yes, speaking of sending addresses, Michelle Emerson, send it to me. Yes. So we can and get your Riley stuff out. As well, I think I have it, but yeah. So if you've won trivia in the last couple, you know, month or whatever, and we haven't sent you anything, we're going to make it our goal to be much more on this. So each night as you win, send us your address so we can make an envelope that night so we can get you your stuff. So Michelle Emerson, I have your thing sitting here. So let's, Let's make that a new thing. If you win trivia, send me, Scott, or Natalie. Probably best just to send it to Natalie. Producer your Natalie, yes. Yeah, just send it to Natalie. She can write your address down, and we can get you your stuff in a prompt manner. Thank you. So tonight, we will get started with trivia. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. Question number one. Who killed Django Fett? Who, who killed him? Who killed Django Fett? No, it's not a spoiler alert. I don't know. That's not who that's not who killed him. No, that's not even a character, you idiot. You wrote the yeah. questions and you can't even answer them right. I don't know who that is. Never heard of him. Dan Davis says personal delivery. You know, Dan. Some people will get personal deliveries, but not everybody. Dan Davis, you will get personal delivery if you win. Yeah, he did. He did get a personal delivery. Jason Schaefer. No. That's is, that is not what my, my answer says. Are you serious? What was the question again? Who killed Django Fett? Not Boba Fett. Django. Like Unchained? The D so, is silent. Really? Ang 
Bless you. Bless you, Bumblebee. So, yeah, so we got to get through this trivia pretty quick because we got started late and nobody can get question one, Andrew. Are you guys kidding me? You guys cannot get this question right. I know this answer. Everyone knows this answer. Why is no one getting it? This is really irritating me. All right, so we're just going to pass question number one. No, Casey Jones, it is not. This is this is awesome. This is just I can't believe you people call yourself Star Wars fans. Oh, look here. at that. Mark Turner coming in hot. What's up, Mark Turner? Mace Mark- Windu. I didn't know Mark What's up, Mark? I didn't even know you were watching either. Then Dan Tackleson comes in a little slow. Well, don't be slow. Question number two. Who played Lando Calrissian in the original trilogy? Who played Lando Calrissian in the original trilogy? Darts Vader. Is that wrong? Darts Vader? That's yeah. just dumb. Stupid North Dakota. Who played Lando Calrissian in the original trilogy? Billy. Mike, then Dan D. Tackleson Williams. comes. Michael Coleman. Oh, oh, there it is. Good job. Look at that beard. That is a beard. It goes swoopies, swoopies. (laughs) Swooshy, swooshy, swishy, swish. (laughs) Question number three. Who is the only non-Jedi slash Sith to use a lightsaber in the original trilogy? Who was the only non-Jedi slash Sith to use a lightsaber in the original trilogy? Wicket. Wicket. <laughs> wicket good. Dun, 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 you let's dun, wicket. Dun, 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 dun. The answer is not Scott Metz. <laughs> the answer is not Han. Scott Metz. What the heck is going on with me tonight? Han Solo. Oh, Han. It was Jason Schaffer. Gosh darn you, Scott. Question number four. What actor got his start playing the Ewok Wicket in The Return of the Jedi? Jesus Jones. No. Oh. What actor got his start playing the Ewok Wicket in The Return of the Jedi? John Bon Jovi. False. Hey, everyone. If you want to go over to TalkingBeards.com, you can watch the show live over there. It's not live. I've given it life. Jason Schaefer. (laughs) Warwick Davis. Jason Schaefer. Sorry, I was dealing with something. No. All right. Now I'm now I'm back to paying attention. Now that I got everything all caught up. Oh, welcome back to the show, Scott. Shut Sador. up, Aaron. You shut up. I don't show up. I throw up. And when I throw up, you lick it up. Lick it up. Lick it, it up. Woo. No, Question number five. In the movies. Who is Anakin Skywalker's father? Uh, Robert Posey says Richard Simmons. You're wrong, Posey. Yeah, Posey. Posey pants. (laughs) You posied. Posey pants. Question number five. You ain't. Who is Anakin Skywalker's father? (laughs) Jeff. Jeff Fafa. No one. Jason Schaefer. That is correct. That is correct. Or maybe we find out on Thursday. Baby Yoda? Is that's what we're going to find out? <laughs> Question number six. What character famously said, it's a trap? 
Mon Mothma. What character famously said, it's a trap? <sighs> um, I don't know. Me neither. <laughs> Never heard of him. I have the answer here, though. Breaking news. I'm sorry. Breaking news. Casey is cancer free as of yesterday. That's that's awesome news. This is good news, Casey. Heck yeah. Snack bar. There it is. Jason Schaffer, Admiral Akbar. Question number seven. What is Kylo Ren's real name? What is Kylo Ren's real name? It's a trap. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> What is Kylo Ren's real name? Ben Solo. So Jason Schaefer is coming in hot here. Yeah, he is. Ben Solo. He has no competition whatsoever. Question number eight. What droid held the missing piece to the location of Luke Skywalker? What is the most important droid ever to be on Star Wars and held the missing piece to the location of Luke Skywalker? I think Andrew mis- mis- wrote this one. What is the most important, bestest character ever to be on Star Wars? He put this question in just for you. And he also had the location of Luke Skywalker. The missing piece. The missing piece. Yeah, see? Posey gets it. Posey pants. BB-8. He swears the most, too. Apparently. That's what Sarah says. And if Sarah says it, it must be true. Question number nine. What metal, also known as Mandalorian iron, is used to forge the Mandalorian's armor? The Kyber. Kyber Crystal. <laughs> What metal, also known as Mandalorian iron, is used to forge the Mandalorian's armor? I can't believe that there's just no one in here for Star Wars trivia. Maybe we should have advertised that we were having like the most intense Star Wars trivia night. Because I know even stupid bald-faced Josh, who is yeah, the biggest. Right. Sorry. Posey gets it. Robert Posey, coming in hot. Beskar. No, I didn't get sick. Did I get sick? Why would you? Why, because I saw your face? Yeah, he was thrown yeah. up after he saw your face. Yeah, I was just North throwing Dakota. Dakota. face. That was it. What's the score, oh. Natalie? Jason Schaefer has five, Robert Posey has two, Mark Turner and Michael Coleman each other. Schaefer, five, Posey, two, and a few people have one. <clears throat> Question number 10. It's America's favorite. 10 of 15. How cute is Baby Yoda? And in quotes, it says, Natalie's discretion on the winner. This could be anyone's. Yeah. How cute is Baby Yoda. <sighs> Too cute. Sam Ramsey. You know, I'll take it. There it is. is there it is. Oh, no. Oh, actually, Michelle has, Michelle has the actual answer. So we got to give it to Michelle. Or I, this is her second one's even better, too. So cute, she's going to die. No, but the actual answer is indefinitely cute. Like that's the answer he actually wrote down. Yeah, so that's... Good job, Michelle. I don't know how you figured that out. So now we have five more written by the one and only Sarah Davis. Sarah Davis. <laughs> Sarah Willis. Jason Bates is so wrong. Dakota nah. Watts says 9.5 and he still has wood. 
Sounds good, North Dakota Watts. All right, Sarah Willis. Question number one. Slash 11. Easily the hairiest character, Chewbacca was originally played by, by what actor? I do not know. I don't know. I don't know. Easily the hairiest ca- character, Chewbacca was originally played by what actor? <laughs> Michael Coleman, can you give us a first name? Sarah Ward Davis. That's right. Jason Schaefer. Oh, Jason Schaefer. That's a good answer. Jason Boykin. Jason Boykin. Peter Mayhew. Question number 12. Maybe it was because of the beard, but this actor is the only one to receive an Academy Award nomination for acting. Maybe it was because of the beard, but this actor is the only one to receive an Academy Award nomination for acting. Act, Gary. Act. (laughs) (laughs) That's the funniest part of that movie to me. That whole movie is the funniest part of the movie. It is. Alec Guinness. Oh, oh. So I guess Andrew Matson's going to try to still win trivia, even though he won or he wrote 10 of them. But he didn't write these. Question number three. I'm sure it is, but that's not what that's, that's not what Sarah I I agree with Sir Alec Guinness. But that's not what Sarah put. Sarah put Alec Guinness. But he's Sir. Pfft, not here. That's not what Sarah said. Question number three. Lando Calrissian was the owner of a mustache. And the original owner of what? Lando Calrissian was the owner of a mustache. And the original owner of what? What did Lando Calrissian originally own? Diapers. Yes. Diapers. Capes. He could. You could say capes. There Michael we go. Coleman. Oh, yep. Yeah. Michael Coleman beat him. The Millennium Falcon. Mm. Whoa, look at how Dan spelled it. Millennium Falcone. Question number four. He's had facial hair in other roles, but it's unknown if he's sporting any under the Mandalorian's helmet. So we're looking for the actor's name. Who, he's had facial hair in other roles, but it's unknown if he's sporting any under the Mandalorian's helmet. (laughs) Wow. Oh, he didn't get it. Ha! Jason Schaefer. So that was it. So, I mean, Jason's already, no one's going to beat him. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just give it to Jason so we can, we can move on here. So, I mean, sure, we'll do one more. It was actually in the Star Wars Holiday Special that this helmeted character first appeared. It was, uh, the game was called Sabacc. Not a poker game. It was actually in the Star Wars Holiday Special that this helmeted character first appeared. Come on, Andrew Matson. Hurry up and get it right. Yeah, we got to get out of here. 
gotta go. We got things we gotta do, like go to work. Good job, Puzz Pants. Puzz Pants. There he is. Oh my gosh. There Stop it is. Stop it. Good job, Posey. You didn't win, but you got that question right. <laughs> we appreciate you. Huh? Oh, yeah. No, it didn't have a question mark on the end of it. So, congratulations, Jason Schaeffer. You are the proud owner of uh, the box. Yeah. Good job, bud. Good job. The crowd goes wild. So, we will get to you. I'm sure you, uh, yeah, we'll. We have your contact information. We will be reaching out to you shortly. Um, I'll, I'll just load this thing down with lots of good stuff for you. So. Rocks. Lots of rocks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I am Aaron D. Johnston. You can find me on all social media platforms at Aaron D. Johnston. You can find me on TikTok at Talking Beards. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, appreciate it. Congratulations, Jason Schaefer. Uh, hit up honestamish.com and all the other brands that we pushed tonight and told everybody what to buy your men and bearded people in your lives for Christmas. You still have a couple weeks, so plenty of time to get those orders in. couple weeks? You got like uh, less than a week. You have less than a week to get those orders in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am Scott Sakura. You can find out more information about me by looking on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for Scott Sakura or The Beardcaster. You can find out more information by going to either TheBeardcaster.com or TalkingBeards.com. Um, and if by some chance you guys have some sort of uh, gift idea that you'd like to share, you can go post it over on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board or on the Talking Beards uh, Facebook page. And we want to thank everyone. Since this is our last episode of the year for 2019, uh, for, yeah, for this decade, we want to thank everyone that's uh, supported the show, supported us, who's come out and hung out with us uh, at events, um, all the people that we've met, all the new friends we've made, every everyone, everything we are very thankful for. And uh, we hope that 2020 will bring a much better show for you. Um, also, I guess we wanted to ask too, is there anything that you'd like for us to do on the show or not do give us some uh, feedback on what you think about the show things you like things you don't like you know help us create a better show for you i mean that's all we really want to do we want to we want to keep you everyone captivated longer we want people to stick around longer we want you know we started off the show with close to 100 people watching and as the show you know comes to an end uh you know we start slowly start dwindling away so i mean do you guys want us to stop doing trivia um do you guys want us to bring back the news segment where we talk about the latest news stories that are going on you know tell us let us know uh you can message us on talking beards at uh on facebook so but merry christmas everyone happy new year and uh that that that's it for tonight that's it that's it for the year so thank you for tuning in Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and see everybody next year with episode number 40, 51. 51. 51. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We hope you really enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go over to thebeardcaster.com to subscribe to the podcast. Also, don't forget to go to talkingbeards.com every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to watch us live. If you want to interact with the show, make sure you go to facebook.com slash talking beards. There you can interact live with the show and post anything you want in the BS button beard bulletin board. Make sure you do that so we know what's going on in the community and we can report it to you. Thank you all for checking out the program today. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's super awesome episode. Until then, stay awesome and we'll see you guys later. Ciao.